You'll never guess who's offering a great EV charger deal. Hey, EV lovers. Welcome to EVpedia, your ultimate hub for electric vehicles. If you're as excited about EVs as we are, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and drop a comment below. And if you want to help us bring even more amazing content, consider giving us a super thanks. The company's cars may be a bad buy at any price, but the charger is a steal. Fisker's primary product isn't a great buy. With values cratering, owners desperate for post-bankruptcy support, and a series of recalls, we wouldn't recommend touching an ocean with anything less than an 11-foot pole. But that doesn't mean everything the company's selling is a bad buy. In fact, Fisker may have one of the best charger deals on the market. The company is offering its Fisker-branded 40-amp level 2 home charging station for just $250 right now, as spotted by Threads user at Masho Toe. And there's better news. Like the ocean, the company's charging station isn't actually made by Fisker. Just as it tapped Magna to build the ocean, it had Wallbox built as home charging station. The Fisker charger is just a branded version of the Wallbox Pulsar Plus. Wallbox is a trusted name in the industry, and the Pulsar Plus is a great charger. When the company first offered it for sale in the U.S., our charging guru Tom Malufny gave it 4.6 out of 5 stars. That tied it with two other chargers for the highest-rated charger he'd ever tested. It wasn't on his best chargers of 2024 list, but this ultra-discounted price may change the math. Tom says the Emporia 48 amp is his current favorite in no small part, due to its sub-$400 price, but at $250 the Wallbox Pulsar Plus is an even cheaper option. Normally, the box retails for $649. It is occasionally discounted further. I've seen it marked down to $500 at some outlets, $450 at Costco, and it was last listed for $549 on Fisker's own website. For $250, it's a no-brainer. Plus, you get the added bonus of Fisker branding. When you're charging your 2030 EV on the same charging station, and Fisker is just a distant memory, the logo on the wall box is bound to be a conversation starter. And you shouldn't have to worry too much about customer service or replacement parts. While Fisker's days appear to be numbered, I doubt Wallbox is going anywhere. That's it for today's episode of EVpedia. If you had fun, subscribe, like, and share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to give us a super thanks to support our channel. Thanks for watching and stay charged. Until next time, keep it electric.